Okay, um, this is another lesson in mixture problems. And in this lesson, I want to show you the different methods of solving mixture problems because sometimes they can get kind of complicated. But if you know what you're doing, and when you look at this mixture problem, if you know what you're doing, you can work your way through it. So uh, let's look at some mixture problems and see how we would approach them. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we have... Uh, how much water should be added to 30 cups of juice that is 70% juice to get a diluted mixture that is only 60% juice? Okay. So, let's say we have 30 cups of juice that is 70% juice, and we want a mixture that is 60% juice. So, what has to happen is, in order to make that mixture 60% uh, from 70% juice, we add some water. Okay, so let's let x equal the amount of water we're going to add because we don't know how much water we're going to add. So that's what x means, unknown. So we don't know how much, so we're going to let x equals unknown, okay? So we're going to solve this problem two ways. In the first method, I'm going to solve this problem in terms of the juice, and in the next method, I'm going to show you how to solve the same problem in terms of the water. Because usually when you see a problem solved, one person may solve it one way and another person may solve it another way. So if you know how to solve it both ways, you won't get confused, okay? So let's draw a table. Now, sometimes you can draw a table for word problems, and sometimes you'll see me draw boxes, okay? And I add them together. Sometimes it's easier to, easier to draw a table. Sometimes it's easier to draw boxes. And after, and after you do a certain number, number of problems or word problems, you pick up on which one is easier to use, either the table or the boxes. Okay. Okay. So across the top of the... Uh, boxes I have juice mixture in terms of juice original added and resolved. Vertically I have concentration amount and multiply okay so let's start off in terms of juice my original is 70 percent juice because that's what it says in the problem 70 percent juice okay and uh, how much do I have, the amount? Well, it's 30 cups of juice that I have, okay? How much juice am I adding? Well, I'm adding 0% juice because I'm really adding water, not juice, okay? And as a result, after this is done, my mixture is 60% juice, and that's what I have, 60% juice, because this is in terms of juice, okay? My amount that I'm adding is X cups of water, okay? And then the result is 30 cups of juice plus X cups of water, okay? So now that my table's filled out, I can multiply these, okay? So I have 0%, that's 0, times X cups of water. I have 0.6%, that's 60%, change to the decimal. 60% times 30 plus X cups of water, okay? And I have 70%, change to the decimal, 0 0.7 times 30, okay? And now what I can do is I can multiply these. I've multiplied them, and now I can add them up. So 0 0.7 times 30, right here, plus 0 times X cups of water, right there, equals the result, which is 0 0.6 times 30 plus X cups of water. And then the parentheses separates those. Okay. So now I have the same thing, except now I multiplied 0 0.6 times 30, right there, 0 0.6 times X X cups of water right there and I multiplied that through and so 0 0.7 times 30 gives me 21 0 times X cups of water gives me 0 
and that's equal to 0 0.6 times 30 is 18, and 0 0.6 times x is 0 0.6x, okay? And I switch my equation around, and uh, 0 0.6 times x and what I do is I bring my 18 over to the other side. Once you cross the equal sign, you change signs, okay? So plus is 18 is plus on the right side. So when I move to the left side, it becomes minus. So that's 21 minus 18. That gives me 3. So I have 0 0.6x cups of water equals 3. And I divide through by 0 0.6, 0 0.6 both sides, and I get 3 divided by 0 0.6 that gives me x cups of water equal 5 so x cups of water equals 5 okay in terms of juice okay now let's do the same problem in terms of water okay and we let x equal amount of water added as before but this time we're going to do the same problem in terms of water okay we have our same table, but now we have water mixture, okay? And we have our same table, horizontally and vertically, okay? Original problem, the concentration is 30% water. Well, in terms of juice, it's 70% water, okay? But if it's 70% water, that means there's 30% juice. If there's 70% juice, that means it's 30% water, okay? The amount we have, we have 30 cups of juice. That's what we're starting off with, 30 cups of juice. That doesn't change, okay? How much water are we adding? Well, we're adding 100% water, okay? And what is our result? Well, our result will be, in terms of water, is 40% because our result in the question says 60% juice. Well, if it's 6% juice, then it's 40% water, okay? And then we add, how much water are we adding? We, add, we are adding X cups of water. And then we add these two together. That's 30 plus X cups of water. The middle hasn't changed from the last time we did in terms of juice. And now we multiply these out. That's 30 times 30%. X times 100%, well, 100% changed the decimal is 1, and we got 40% times 30 plus X cups of water. And so now we can write this out. So that's 0 0.3 times 30 right there, plus 1 times X cups of water right there, equals 0 0.4 times 30 plus X cups of water from right there. Okay. So... 0 0.3 times 30 is 9. 1 times x cups of water is 1. Equals 0 0.4 times 30 plus 0 0.4 times x cups of water. Okay. So now what we do is 0 0.4 times 30 is 12. Okay. And so now what we have to do is get all of our x's on one side and all our constants to the other side. So we move... 0.4x to the other side is plus on the right side, so if we cross the uh, equal sign, we change the sign to minus, okay? And we move 9 to the other side is plus on the left side, so that means it's got to be minus on the right side. And now we add, a, add up our x's and our constants, okay? And 1 minus 0 0.4 is 0 0.6 times x, cups of water, equals 12 minus 9 is 3. Divide both sides by 0 0.6, and we get x equals 5 cups of water, as before, okay? So, what we did, we solved this same, this one problem, two different methods, in terms of juice mixture and in terms of water mixture. As you notice, as you can see, the concentration in terms of juice was 70%, as, is, as it is in the question. The amount of water we added is 0% because we're adding water. The amount of juice we added, I'm sorry, is is 0% because we're not adding juice, we're adding water. Okay. And our result is 60% juice. 
okay, as in the question, because I will, we're solving it in terms of juice. The amount is 30 cups, X cups of water, 30 plus X cups of water. And then we multiply it through. In terms of water mixture, the concentration is 30%, not 70%, because in terms of juice is 70%, but in terms of water is 30%. The amount of water added is 100%, not 0%, because in terms of water, we're adding 100% water. In terms of juice, we're adding 0% water. It's juice, 0% juice. So, And the result in the water mix is 40%, and the result in terms of juice is 60%. So you'll see that what's changed is the top row. Because in terms of juice and in terms of water, is different, okay? But we get X equal 5 cups of water for both, okay? So if you set the table up correctly, either way you solve the problem, you get the same answer. And that's what's so great about mathematics is because you can set up the problem differently and get the same answer. And that's really a check, okay? Okay, so let's solve another problem. Okay, we have a silver alloy problem here, okay. The problem states that sterling silver is 92.5% pure silver. How many grams of pure silver and sterling silver must be mixed to obtain 100 grams of 94% silver alloy? Okay. And sterling silver is a silver alloy. Okay. So let's draw our boxes. And this time I'm going to use boxes instead of tables. Okay. It's okay. So let's label our boxes. The first box we're going to call sterling silver. Plus the next box we're going to call pure silver. And we're going to add those together to give us a mixture of pure silver and sterling silver. Okay. Sterling silver is 92.5%, as it says in the, in the problem, okay? And pure silver is what? It's 100%, because it doesn't say that in the problem, but we know that pure silver is 100%, okay? And we're going to add them together, and our result will be 94%, as it says in the problem statement above, okay? How much... Pure, how much sterling silver are we adding? Well, we don't know. So we call that X grams of sterling silver. Plus, how much pure silver are we adding? Well, we don't know that either. But what we do know is that our result, as in the problem statement, it says that we will obtain 100 grams. So we know if we, got, we obtain 100 grams, if we subtract X from 100 grams, what remains is pure silver. Okay, so we call how much pure silver we added is 100 minus X grams of sterling silver. So that's what we call the amount of pure silver we added. So, okay, now that we got these, we can multiply these out, okay, and add them together. So let's solve the problem. We have 92.5% times X, change that to a decimal, and that's 0 0.925 times X grams of silver in the first box, plus 100% times 100 minus X grams of silver. Well, 100% change to a decimal is 1, okay? Times 100 minus X grams of silver equals 100 times 94 percent right here 100 times 94 percent 94 percent change to the decimal is 0 0.94 okay and so what we're going to do is we multiply this through and we have 0 0.925 times x grams of silver 1 times 100 is plus 1 and uh, we have 1 times minus X grams of silver, which is minus X grams of silver. And that's equal to 
100 times 94, 0.94 is 94, okay? Then we move our constant to the other side because we have the x's on the same side now. So we move 100 over to the, the right side and we get 94 minus 100. 100 is plus on the left side. So when we move over to the right side, we change the sign to minus. Okay. So we have 0 0.925 x grams of silver minus 1 x grams of silver. And that gives us minus 0 0.075 x grams of silver equals minus 6. Since they're both minus on either side, they're going to cancel out and change to a plus. So we get divide through by minus 0 0.075 both sides. And we get x grams of silver equals x grams of sterling silver equals 80 grams. Okay, because minus 6 divided by minus 0 0.075 equals a plus 80, okay? Now, how much pure silver we added? Well, pure silver is represented by 100 minus x grams of silver. So, x grams of silver is 80, so 100 minus 80 equals 20 grams of pure silver, because that's what we call that. Now, sometimes people label this as Y. And if you do that, you're going to end up with simultaneous equations. You can do that. But I didn't do that here because I didn't want simultaneous equations. But you can call this Y, okay? And I'll show you, in, I'll show you in uh, some other problems how you can do that. But it's more work because then you have to solve simultaneous equations. Okay. So let's show the percent silver calculated, okay? We, we're essentially checking our work. So x equals 80 grams of sterling silver. That was x, and we solved that. And the amount of pure silver we added, we came up with 100 minus 80 equals 20 grams of pure silver added, okay? So the sterling silver is 92.5% pure silver. That's what it says in the problem statement. So 92, 0.925% times 80 equals 74%, 74 grams pure silver. That's what the 80 grams of sterling silver contains. And 80 minus 74 grams of, of pure silver equals six grams of alloy remaining, okay? So therefore, our percent silver is 74 grams that's contained in the 80 plus 20 grams that we're adding divided by 74 grams of pure silver plus six grams of our alloy 74 and 6 gives, what, 80. That's our original 80. So we, we have 80 plus the 20 that we're adding equals 100%. Okay, 100 grams. And then we do 74 plus 20 equals 94. Divided by 100 equals 94%. And that's our silver alloy is 94% silver. Okay? And we solved our problem. And that's how you check the problem. Okay? Until next time. Thank you. I hope you learned something.